All right, so we're getting ready for the show, the Apollo, the 23rd of January, 2010. Iman, putting it on, our gracious hosts in New York, brothers in New York are putting in a lot of work, my suit and them, and uh, our brother Most Def is coming out to remind us, myself and my wife, uh, DJ Kid Dragon, DJ Righteous, you know, so it's gonna be a nice thing, you know, it's just a lot of acts. Uh, from just different sectors of our, uh, of our communities, of various communities, coming together to have a good time um, and to, you know, just bring some awareness to it, man, which is a, arguably, in my opinion, the best Islamic organization in the United States, hands down. That's from me, but from what I know of any Islamic organization that I've worked with, they are the upper echelon of all these organizations as far as really dealing on the ground with the real issues and the real um, uh, problems, seeking to solve the real problems of the communities that they're actually in. So, you know, whenever they're calling, I always want to come out and support. So we just going to have a very nice time. It's the Apollo. It's obviously a beautiful, very famous venue. Uh, and we want to put on a very famous, a very uh, memorable and a very uh, beautiful evening. You know, of just sharing culture, just building this thing up more and more. So, you know, we're getting ready for this. I'm on my way to the UK. Get back from the UK, flying to New York. Apollo, 23rd, Harlem, New York. Your man, most deaf. Myself, my wife, the reminders. Kid driving, DJ Righteous. It's gonna be a nice time, inshallah. So, we're gonna get it done, inshallah. Well, I want to rewind it just for, um, um, just for, so I can see where I wanted to break after the hook. Okay. Because, so you guys know this, so you guys know like this song, Hallelujah, is like, but particularly this is going to be a lot of Muslims and all, it's going to be mixed, but it's going to be a lot of, you know, it's the same organization, but you guys ask. Right. This song, it's a trip, like it gets... <laughs> Like when I do it for Muslims, like they pause. They're like, nah. hallelujah, right? <laughs> so they get, right. so it always takes a moment to be like, like, is that okay? Like, you know, and probably the same way a Christian would be like, is it okay, you right. know? Right. But that's kind of the function of the song, you know what I'm saying? So I like this song very much. This, uh, this may be one of my favorite recorded songs ever. Like I really love this song oh, yeah. for what I was able, um, like the idea um, to synthesize these ideas and so part of it is to kind of pull people out of their preconceived notions, you know what I'm saying? But I, so I want them to get a chance to enjoy the song. Usually what happens the first time they hear it, they kind of like it, but they're kind of shook. And then the second or third time, but we only have one shot. So I'm trying to see a way to, so I mean, it may even be like last time I did this, did, no, last time I did I did it with you guys. Did I have to actually stop you guys no. and talk to them? No, they were rocking, right? <laughs> actually, no, no, no. Well, he did he for did. a second. Oh. Um, at, um, uh, Latifah's uh, yeah, that's party, right? right? Yeah, right. Where he had to, he sort of. Oh, he <laughs> yeah. right. yeah. introduced the song and we did right. it, right. and then. Right. So if, if, I, if I pause you, so you understand what it's about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, you know, it's just saying that, you know, there's, you know, it's basically a proclamation that there's only one God, and for us to kind of get past little things like language. So you know what I'm saying? More than a swordsman, moving my blade through the throat of coercion. But whomever would like to make their wives, widows, and their children orphans, then stand in opposition to the divine forces. I'm John the Baptist, the headless horseman. Crown your Ichabod crane, you ashes in my coffin. I'm engulfed in the flames of Elijah, so it sounds like poetry, but smells like arson. This is what would happen if Dr. Manhattan was rapping. My death is my birth. My spirit is divine, but my ego is Smeagol. My precious, ruthless and restless, foolish and reckless. The only way to truly live is to die. Meet me back in the essence. Alhamdulillah, hallelujah.
Allah the Prophet I follow Christ and Muhammad, Messiah and Ahmed Slain to Ahmed Sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi Wasn't in the church or the masjid They lied and stole, they bought and sold They tried to hold my God hostage Don't act like it's not deep I'm just waiting for Mahdi And if he's not me, or not within me The Ummah's one body, so how could he not be? And how is he not me? And how is he not we? I believe Tawheed, the one that's of all things Seen and unseen, seen and unseen Oh Allah, the signs that we've seen Truth is lost in Antichrist King Oh Jesus, save me, Jesus, save me, Jesus, save me Alhamdulillah